my name is Selena, and I'm going to do some book reviews today. Some quickie little mini book reviews because I read three books in a row, and I feel like these books kind of tell a story. Um, it's funny when I read books. Sometimes I feel like the order and the way in which I read books sometimes is a story in itself. So. Yeah, I'm going to take you on that journey. So, the first book that I read was Allegiant by Veronica Rock. And this book start me on this journey that I'm going to take you on. So, I was all anticipation and excitement to pick up Allegiant. And then the Twitter feed and everything just started blowing up about this book. People who were reading this much more quickly than I was reading it. Um, although I, it came out on a Tuesday, I finished it on the Friday. Even before I can even finish it on Friday, people were talking about the book. So I had to shut myself off from Twitter and read the book. And I did not get back on to Twitter um, for any real reason till after I read this book. and. Oh my gosh, I was just, I love this book. So let me just say that. I'm going to start off by saying I love this. I thought it was a great way to end um, Allegiant. I liked the writing style, the way that the story went back and forth between Triss and For It, which I thought was very um, creative, seeing how well the stories told by For's perspective had done, um, the companion stories to the Elite, uh, the Divergent series. Um, so to finish off strong with both characters was uh, was amazing. Um, I also w loved how we got outside of the outside of you know Chicago and the whole world that Tristan Four had been involved in for the first two books, and were able to see what was really going on in the rest of the world because th that was something that you know most readers of the series was asking for the good majority of the story and I thought that that story was told very well. I thought that that explanation of of the culture and the ways in which government was trying to rectify things but just screwing things up just how government usually goes about doing things uh, was done really well. So I loved Allegiant. I liked the way that it ended. Sorry. Spoilers. Spoiler. Get ready. Was I sad that Tris died? Yes, I was sad. I remember staying up for a while just not knowing what to do with myself. So, after reading Allegiant and then reviewing it quickly after and giving it, I believe, four out of five stars, maybe five stars. I know I rated it pretty high up there. Um, I had to decide what to do next because I can feel myself going into a reading slump because sometimes when a book is just so emotionally heavy, you know, you, you just need time to decompress, to process, and uh, I needed something to keep me from going into a reading slump. I didn't want to go into one, um, but I didn't want anything too heavy. So the next book that I read, I picked this up the next day, immediately after, and I'm glad that I had it on my shelf ready to go, was Fangirl by Rainbow Rowell. And yeah, so I read this book next, and I thought this was so appropriate because it's about a girl named Kath, and she is a fangirl of a series, which was something that I was dealing with um, just the day before, and I am also a big Harry Potter fan, so I fell in love with Kath as a character, and um, the writing style was just so, so light, so funny. Um, I likened this to kind of like, you know, it's an ABC Family miniseries, you know, um, young girl going off to college, she's a twin, her sister's name is Rin, Kath, Rin, haha, <laughs> um, and so they go off to college, but her twin sister kind of wants to spread her wings a little bit, and Kath is not wanting that so much, but she's kind of forced into, you know, having new experiences and meeting new people, and in that that experience, she learns more about herself and um, opens herself up more to other people. And this is mainly done and explored through her her love of a series called the Simon Simon Snow series, I believe. Simon Snow, yeah, uh, which is kind of like uh, the Harry Potter series. I did 
since a little bit of twilight in it, but I don't know. I haven't heard anyone else say that they felt a little twilight in it, but I I did. That's just me though. And uh, yeah, so I know I have had some of the experiences that cats have had in college. Um, you know, the cantankerous roommate I had one. Um, just wanting to know why, why, why can't you know the cafeterias be more navigable? I, I, I had a hard time <laughs> navigating the cafeterias. Little things like that, and you know, being social and learning new social rules. And I just thought this was a very well written book. But for the place that I was in after finishing Allegiant, Fangirl was wonderful in that it was light enough for me to breeze through, have fun with. Um, I didn't have to think too deeply about anything, which was a plus. Um, I was able to fall in love with the characters. Um, I was able to relate a lot, and I thought that the way that Kath expressed her, her love of of these, you know, of literature, and especially the Simon Snow series, was well done, especially from one fangirl to another. I thought this was very, very well done. So that's what I read after reading Allegiant was Fangirls, kind of like my, my therapy um, in a way. And so then after reading Fangirl and feeling quite recovered, Tandem by Anna Jarbaz, or Jarzab, sorry, I don't know. Um, and this I received as a um, advanced reader's copy, and um, it's about a girl named Sasha Lawson who is kidnapped from our world. She lives in Chicago and is taken to a parallel universe called Aurora, and in Aurora her body double, her doppelganger, is a princess, and there are some similarities between their parallel world and ours, but then there are differences, and one difference is Whereas we, you know, I live in the United States, in the in Aurora, in their world, the continent of the United States is split in half, and one half is called the Colombian Commonwealth, and then the other half of the United States is called Farnham, and so Sasha is kidnapped to impersonate a princess named Juliana, and she's the princess of uh, the. Colombian Commonwealth, and so she has to navigate this world, and I thought this was a very interesting mix of kind of like, you know, your typical medieval princess type story with very modern elements. So you have a castle, you have a court, you have kings and queens and all this jazz, but then, you know, the way I envisioned it. The castle was more something like one of the skyscrapers in New York City, and there are metal doors and L, you know, LCD keypads to get in and out of rooms. And then there was a lot of political espionage going on. So I like this science fiction fantasy book because it, you know, it didn't rely on shadow hunters or werewolves or zombies or anything like that to create a a world outside of our own. It relied on science and creativity, and I thought that that was, it was done very well. So this is the first book in the Many Worlds series, and um, I, I was glad to get back into it, although, you know, I'm not a fan of waiting for the next book to come out. I'm the kind of person who likes to marathon my reading, so um, I am a little upset that I have to wait now for book two to find out what happens to Thomas and Sasha. So Sasha is put into a situation where, like I said, she has to impersonate a princess, but on top of that, she also has to navigate all the political upheavals and political um, secrets that have been swarming around the castle before she got there, and she has to pretend to be on top of it. She has to make sense of it because her own life is at stake. So I thought that um, this was a very good, good new uh, YA science fiction fantasy series. And I believe I gave this about five stars on Goodreads. I, 
yeah, I, I really like this this book, and it was a quick read. Um, yeah, so those were the three books that I read in a row. Um, one book, although it was awesome, brought me down very far, and then I grabbed a book, total opposite, you know, standalone funny light novel, and it brought me back up, and now I am ready to read more books. After reading Tandem, I am ready to engage in just my love of reading again. So, I have also written reviews for these books on Goodreads. Um, so, go to Goodreads and read the reviews and comments that I left about the, the books. And, yeah, let me know if you have read these, if you like them. Um, how was your experience after reading something that was, you know, emotionally draining? Did you have to get something total opposite? Did you stick with the same type of book, same genre? Did you go into a reading slump? How do you come out of a reading slump? I just wanted to, to talk and chat with anyone who wants to chat about those things or anything else. Bye!